In order to succeed in business, and I presume that's what you're all here for, you have to also understand the laws of nature. A tiny bug destroys a rice crop in Sumatra, and an entire business empire comes crashing down. Yes, Miss Kempton. What is the name of the bug? <laughs> Harry. It's hypothetical. <laughs> Mr. Summers, what is the natural instinct that leads one company to take over another? Greed. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Mr. Summers. Sit up, Mr. Summers. <laughs> what do we call it? Revolution. Oh, God, I love this song. <laughs> it's progress. Expansion, the primal instinct in nature to grow. Professor Cooper, are you justifying rapaciousness and corruption in the name of growth? I was just about to, but you stepped on my punchline. <laughs> I don't see anything funny about man's imperviousness to the pain of his fellow man. Did you ever see the Three Stooges? <laughs> if you really believe that grabbing more and more power and money is growth, then why did you leave as head of a major conglomerate to teach at a small little college like Burbridge? Because I have unbelievable timing. See what I mean? We will resume the discussion on Thursday. Did you get that, Mr. Summers? Growth potential. Oh, good. <laughs> You were brilliant. Oh, Professor Cooper, you were inspired. You transcend the traditional academics. I really like your tie. <laughs> You're too kind, Mr. Anderson. No way. I mean it. When I think that you, the Wizard of Wall Street, allow me to be your humble teaching assistant, I mean, to handle a task too menial for a man of your stature, well, <laughs> what can I say? How about I quit? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Professor Cooper. Oh, call me Coop, please. Oh, no, I couldn't. Everybody calls me Coop. <laughs> We do it right. Axel does the cooking, and I'm in charge of the beer. And you better believe it's Miller Lite, because the guys who brew it do it right, too. And you can taste it. They use only the best ingredients, and they take their time brewing it. Well, I hear they do over a hundred different checks before it's good enough to be called Miller Lite. This is very disappointing. When it comes to quality, there's only one light beer, Miller Lite. You want to order pizza? I love our modern advances. Remember those antiperspirants we used to use? That went on wet, sticky. Then came real. The advanced antiperspirant system. The top is soft. The antiperspirant is smooth. Yet totally dry. Not a drop of water. You smooth it on. The perfect solution. The real solution. It feels out of this world. The future is real. The advanced antiperspirant system you smooth on. Real antiperspirant. By Nanan. It's me! It's me, your master! I took you from the pound! I thought you'd be grateful! Man! You should have seen me today. I was brilliant. I was inspired. I transcended traditional academics. That's nice, dear. That's nice? Don't you want to hear what I did today? Of course I do. It's just that I'm running so late. I haven't even got dinner started yet, and John's coming over. Oh, uh, 
Is the dean dining with us again? After all, he's your best friend. What's best friend? I just know him longer than anybody else. <laughs> Maybe he'll listen to what I did today. <laughs> you were that good, huh? I was great. I got those kids really challenging me now. It's so exciting. There's this Gloria Steinem, a young Gloria Steinem type, and she's needling me, and she's giving to me pretty good. And just when she thinks she's got me... Hi, Dad. <laughs> In the classroom, it was impervious. Now it's... Hi, Dad. I hear she squashed you like a bug. Yeah? Who told you? She told you? Can I have a cookie? Forget it, Dad. You can't have any. You'll grow. You'll expand. <laughs> you know why I love you? Because you and I are exactly alike. Oh, no, we're not. There is one big difference between you and me. What's that? I have a plate of chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> Hiya, Casey. Forget it, Daddy. I saw the present you left in my room. A dress. What's wrong with a dress? I asked for goy mask and shin guards. I hate to tell you this, kid. But you're a girl. Oh, Daddy. Oh, you can't tell right now. But soon you're gonna grow into a woman. You're gonna fill out, blossom. Instead of 14 across your chest, it'll be 36. Daddy, is that a boob joke? No. Bimbos have boobs. Women have breasts. Not me. I'm not going to have them. You can't fight nature, Casey. It's hereditary. Your mother has breasts. Samantha has breasts. Hi, Daddy. Abby doesn't have breasts. <laughs> I just had the most fantastic experience. I was reading a book on how we all have these past lives, and I suddenly felt like I had been Howard Hughes. Of course, she doesn't have brains. <laughs> Not that I think I was Howard Hughes, but, you know. Oh, where's my grandson? He's taking a nap. And I don't want you waking him up. And no cookies either, Daddy. These are for sale. For sale? I know it. The minute I heard Howard Hughes. Daddy, I know I've made some mistakes in the past, but that's only because I've always let you tell me what to do. This time I have a business partner who actually believes I know what I'm doing. Ah! <laughs> Our slogan is the chocolate chip cookie for the blue chip crowd. Yuppie yummy. <laughs> Isn't it brilliant? It's cute. It's inspired. It stinks. <laughs> I was never like that at 12, was I? I asked him. He was never home. Mom, all right, that's it. Nobody else gets a cookie. What nobody else? I'm the only nobody else. <laughs> Your mother, Samantha, Casey, everybody else had cookies. Everybody else has breath. <laughs> You only bark at me. <laughs> Hello, John. I get a peck on a cheek, he gets a soul kiss. Hi, John. Hi, John. What have you got there? What do you got? I don't believe it. The dog has a chocolate chip. <laughs> Would you like a chocolate chip cookie? Thanks. Abby just gave me one. Good news for you, Coop. You're getting married and starting your own family. I'll just put dinner on the table. I'll help. Where are you going? Why are you always helping? <clears throat> you know why he does that, don't you? To make you look bad. The chicken smells wonderful, Nan. I don't know why your chickens always smell better than anyone else's. If that's his idea of a compliment, no wonder she married me. <laughs> I have something to show you. Oh, yes, the good news. Oh, I forgot the glasses. I'll help. She doesn't need your help. <laughs> she carries three children. She can carry a glass. 
Hey, come on, kids. Sit down. I want to hear the good news. Nan? John? We're all ready. I'll just get the casserole. I'll help. Now! <laughs> I want the good news now. What good news? Every year, the students rate the new professors. I have here the questionnaires that were completed and a report for tomorrow's student paper listing their favorite professors. And Professor Cooper was voted number... Oh, uh... Will number... you cut that out? <laughs> number one. <laughs> number one. I thought I'd get number two. <laughs> Maybe tie for number one. Oh, this is wonderful. But... <laughs> Students said Professor Cooper was dynamic. Dynamic? Oh, isn't that lovely? <laughs> dynamic, stimulating, and challenging. Does it say I'm sexy? <laughs> Thirty students said he was charismatic, and almost all called the class a... Would you like to read it? <laughs> a valuable learning experience. One lone voice in the wilderness was a sophomore who called Professor Cooper a bully. A bully? <laughs> no one would call me a bully. B-U-L-L-Y. <laughs> you put that in. Daddy, I would never do that. Besides, it was a sophomore. Besides, you are a bully. <laughs> I am not a bully. Just because I care about my family, and I want each and every one of you to reach a true potential... Daddy, you're bullying again. That's not bullying. That's challenging. The other students seem to understand that. Exactly. This was just one lone voice in the wilderness. And I'd love to find that one lone voice. <laughs> don't you tell him. I don't think somebody should be punished for telling what he thinks is the truth. The kid's going into business. He should know better than going around telling the truth. <laughs> Listen to me, Coop. You can't be number one with everyone. Just as you can't win everything or be the best at everything you try. If you could, you'd be perfect and you'd have nothing more to learn. And there is no room in college for anyone, student or teacher, who has nothing more to learn. <laughs> Why do you always look like you're smelling something? <laughs> I am. <laughs> That's your fun. Something's burning. Oh, my God, the casserole! Well, well, come on, kids, help your mother. Well, come on, come on. <laughs> Aren't you gonna say I'll help? I know you're dying to help. Don't let me stand in your way. I've known you for 30 years, Coop. I know, my best friend. I'm your only friend. <laughs> I can read you like a book. One student calls you a bully, and you are desperate to find out who it is. You want me to give you his name? No. You're sure? Absolutely. Good, because I wasn't going to. <laughs> I knew that. I knew you weren't going to give me his name. I thought maybe the initials. find out who it is. I'd like to tell him what a real bully is. I'd like to tell him what it's really like out in the real world. The being eaten alive, devoured by corporate sharks. I'd like to, I'd like to, I'd like to tell him. <laughs> of course, that would be bullying. <laughs> Burger King introduces a great new taste in burgers, the Double Deluxe. Double or nothing, that's how I play. Got a great new taste and I got it my way. Double flame broiled burgers, double melted cheese, crisp sizzling bacon, lettuce and tomato. This is a Burger King towel. 
try the double deluxe. No single fried lettuce and tomato burger comes close. We know how burgers should be. What's the best beer in the U.S. of A? Miller Lite. Miller Lite, sir! Pass the pretzels. We're proud to say there's only one light beer, Miller Lite. Today's Duracell battery. It lasts up to 30% longer than the ones we made just last year. Duracell. The best a battery can be. Monday. Hypothetically speaking, who would you rate me? They're America's favorite team of secret agents. They're Scarecrow and Mrs. King. Get out! Then it's Kate and Allie on health care. Mom, it's a virus, not a curse. That's what the Pharaoh said when the locust hit. And Newhart knows how to keep his employees happy. I've decided to close the end earlier than I expected. <laughs> New studies show that pot damages your lungs a lot more than you think, especially if you're still growing. You can't fly if you're high. The American Lung Association. You're not brooding, are you, darling? I never brood. You can't fool me, Coop. Come here. I don't trust you. You shouldn't. <laughs> I have other things planned for you besides dancing. I know you. You're burning with desire. To find that student who called you a bully and grab him by the throat and convince him you're just a pussycat. And you don't know me at all. <laughs> that whole incident is gone from my mind. You know, but if I was thinking about that student, I'd know exactly how to get his name. How? Oh get you to help me. Be my mother, Harry. Get John to tell you who it is. How? Use your feminine wiles. You give it a little of this and a little of that. Don't start something you can't finish, Coop. <laughs> Do you dip? Are you going to get John to tell you who it is? No. <laughs> Mom, could you keep an eye on Andrew? Sure. I have a date. A date? Isn't it a little late for a date? It was just a question. One idiot student calls me a bully, and now I can't say anything to my daughters the rest of my life. There's a late night showing of Citizen Kane at the Elgin. Okay. Who are you going with? Daddy, I'm a divorced woman with a child. I was only asking. I don't care who you go with. As long as you like him, it's OK with me. just my date. He's my new business partner. <laughs> the chocolate chip cookie for the blue chip crowd. <laughs> he wrote that. Yep. Well, wait till you hear this, Coop. We actually dye the chips blue. <laughs> Is there something you wanted to say, Dad? Oh, no. No, 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 no. You just go ahead and have a good time. I'll take care of Andrew. Uh, what was the name of that movie you were going to see? Citizen Kane? You never saw it before. Rosebud is the name of his sled. <laughs> I have to go. My father just walked in. Daddy, put that down and go away. I have a lot of work to do. You don't have time for your own father. I know you. I know you'll cadge, cajole, and manipulate until you get that student's name out of me. Not at all. I just wanted a nice father and daughter talk. The kind I missed when you were growing up. Daddy. Maybe if I had to do it over again, I'd do it differently. I wouldn't wait till I was old and my children almost grown. Daddy, you're not old. And it's not too late. You just have to forget the macho boardroom tactics. You really think I'm a bully, don't you? Well, maybe not a bully, but you like to get your own way. I love to get my own way. Let's call it what it is. I'm overbearing. I'm ruthless. Well, see, Daddy, maybe that's okay in the business world. No, it's, it's not. It's not all right anywhere. 
Let me tell you this. Whoever that student is, I owe him a vote of thanks. To make me take a real look at myself, to have the guts to come out and say things that other people are afraid to say. You know, a student like that, I could not only teach, I could learn from. Daddy, that is wonderful. See, you should say that to him. <laughs> it was, it was Barton Summers. Aha! That takes strength. Or is honesty something you consider dispensable? Uh. Wait a minute. <coughs> is there something going on between you and this Barton Summers? Mm, no. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> What's going on down here? Mom! <gasps> Daddy Worm Barton's name out of me. What did I do? What, what did I do? I, I, I just want to have a talk with him. I'll invite him over to the house. I'll serve him refreshments. I'll be fair. I'll be calm. I'll be reasonable. You'll kill him. I'll kill him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Mr. Summers. How nice of you to come. Thank you. You all know the lone voice in the wilderness? Fair, calm, reasonable. I baked you a cookie. Thanks. <laughs> Why don't you make yourself comfortable? Thank you. Just the light. <laughs> now, when you said that I was a bully, well, I'm interested. I mean, what exactly did you mean? I meant that you were a bully. And you thought so strongly you felt compelled to tell the world. Well, I don't think you can be judicious when it comes to telling the truth. Now, I know what you told Samantha about how telling the truth is wrong in business. That's not quite what I said. You see, I believe that we can change business to make its building blocks truth and principle and our own self-respect as men of goodwill. See, I believe that we can replace competition with cooperation. I believe... I believe... Mr. Summers. <laughs> I see why Samantha likes you. You want to know the truth? I am a bully. You really think Samantha likes me? I just wanted to know how it's going in here. Martin, you look so alive. <laughs> Martin was just telling me about the new age of business, when truth and honesty and candor will prevail. Gee, that sounds great. <laughs> Why don't you uh, eat your cookie? You see, Abby's marketing them. You know, blue chips for the blue blood. Why don't you tell her what you think of it? It's unsaleable. I mean, it's unesthetic. It's blue. <laughs> Daddy, do something. <laughs> well, wait till I tell my business partner about this. Your business partner? Mr. Henderson, my teaching assistant. The one that grades your exams? Mmm, <laughs> mmm, that sure tastes good, though. He's learning, he's learning. And what did you learn? You mean about the truth? These are not your kids. <laughs> Before we begin today's lecture, Someone asked a question last week, and I didn't really answer it. Would that someone like to rephrase the question? Yes, Miss Kemp. What is the name of the bug? <laughs> Sit down, Miss Kemp. The question was, why would I leave Wall Street to come teach at Burbridge College? Why, indeed. I was successful on Wall Street. I had a power base. 
I was called forceful, aggressive, and for sure, nobody ever called me a bully. And that's why I left. There was no more growth potential. Now, there are many ways to grow besides corporate takeovers. Learning is growth. Developing relationships is growth. And wouldn't you say that one's growth as a human being is the most important growth of all? No. <laughs> Sit up, Mr. Summers. <laughs> and now we will discuss economic dynamics, the objective in its concept and The human eye is remarkably sensitive to light, and that's why we make the GE soft white bulb. It's beautiful to see by and bright enough to work by. An ordinary frosted bulb has a glaring hot spot because it doesn't have the high diffusion coating of a GE soft white. A soft, warm, glowing light that's sensitive to the needs of the human eye. GE, we bring good things to life. The painting is by Goya. The rug is by Khorasan. And the gourmet cat food is by Fancy Feast. Fancy Feast. Good taste is easy to recognize. Presenting the adventures of Mighty Dog. Dogs everywhere are fed up with byproducts. Have no fear. Mighty Dog is here. Guardian of good taste, he brings the pure beef taste of Mighty Dog beef for dogs. Stacy Keach stars as a man desired by women, admired by men, and scorned by the daughter who mattered most. Miss Stroud's daughter, coming soon. Stay tuned as schoolboy recruits hit the trail with the Duke, John Wayne, Bruce Dern, Colleen Dewhurst, and Roscoe Lee Brown star in The Cowboys. Next, following Sports Break. It's not the kind of job you do just for the money. If I